Hi, I'm Niklas Bauer. And I'm Robert Hansson. You're watching Fly TV, and today we're doing this. Hi, I'm Nikos Bauer and welcome back to Fly TV. Today we are doing some pike fishing up in Chonayok. It's a fishing camp that is located very far up in the Swedish mountains. Together here we have my good friend Robert. He works here as a full-time guide, as a fishing guide. Uh, we met each other for a long time ago and we have always been talking about the big pike they have up here. And he said you have to come up and fish them. And he's telling me bring 10 weights because nine weights it's not enough, you know, you have to pull them straight out of the grass and stuff like that. So <laughs> we have a bunch of 10 weights and see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a few goals for this trip here, but it's uh, one is going to be to try to catch some pike on lemming. Mm -hmm. But as you can see today, we have beautiful weather. It's almost dead calm and uh, there's just a few, few clouds here coming and going. And I don't think these are the best pike conditions. Well, at least we're going to see the fish today. The tricky part is going to be to catch them. Yeah. I mean, half the thing is just to see them. <laughs> We're walking around in this um, uh, shallow cove here, fishing a lemming, and uh, Robert is still going for the lemming. So I put a uh, they're following it, but I don't really want to crash it. We don't know if it's the, really the sunlight or what's, the, what's happening. But uh, we've had a lot of pike following it, but not really taking it. So I put a diver on. Uh, this Chateau's diver that we tied in one of the Thai TV episodes. It's not really a big fish, but it's still... See, it's just on the side of the mouth there. Easy to remove. Bye bye. A diver is working that way that it just, it floats up to the surface really slow, and when you make a good pull like that, it dives down and it floats back up again. This is sometimes a very very effective way to fish pike. You can have kind of the oh, there's one falling there. See it? Oop. It's actually swimming towards you slowly, slowly. It's two, three meters from this grass here, the flower here. Yeah. In Which this side? angle. Go to the right. Go to the right of it. Here? Drop it. Yeah, it's perfect. It's, it's right behind the flower. Okay. I feed it with some lemming here. Yeah. Feed it good, man. Ooh, I see it. Look. It's following? It's right here. Even if it's like four meters away from me, if I would move anyhow, in this crystal clear water, I'll scare it. But it's a nice fish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's still too close to. It's done completely still, but if I make a cast now, it's gone. <laughs> so, how are you going to solve that problem? I don't know. <laughs> Can you catch it? Aim, Where is it? Aim. Just aim for the lemming. That's perfect. Was it close enough? Yeah, it's right in front of it. Oh, it's turning. Distracting so I can make a new cast. <laughs> <laughs> I want him. <laughs> That's perfect. Distract him. <laughs> it's coming here. It's going for it. Hup. Ah! <laughs> 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 How nice was that, man? <laughs> it swam away and then it came back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That was just an awesome take, man. <laughs> It's so funny when you put some speed on the fly, just instantly they go for it. Yeah. Abba! <laughs> <laughs> He's getting me all wet, this guy. 
Bye bye. <laughs> that was just awesome. <laughs> Jesus. It's nice to have a shower. Yeah. So let's go uh, a little bit further out and catch up on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there is a pike. Where? There. That's a big one. Yeah. We're fishing a little bit deeper area here. Uh, and uh, to fish this fly really deep, I have with my intermediate line, I just, to get it down to like two, three meters quite easily, I put the rod tip down, straight down from me. And uh, I'm using a burbot imitation here, which has been working really good here before. That new one, yep. <laughs> Come on now, not a single foot, man. <laughs> Wasn't that what you told me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it's so hard in this grass. You gave him line, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> we clean this, they don't like the vegetables. Oh, but... oh, oh, oh. oh fish on. Oh, look at it. Oh, oh, that's a big one coming there. Ah. I caught this uh, small pike here. After that fish, two, probably 10 kilo fish came after trying to get it. And now they're standing on the bottom here. This guy, he doesn't even want to go down because he knows us. Oh, he's going up. going up. Oh, he's going, going up. up, he's going up, he's going up. Oh, Jesus, man. That's a very big fish, see? Hoo, hoo, hoo. That fish was... Oh, he's going for it again. He is? Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Going for a contest. Oh, he's just passing through. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He wants it to be moved, you know. That fish is really big. <laughs> it's straight down there. It's right under under the small pike and under the fly now. No, he's more interested in mind fly. Oh, that's Ooh. good. So this is the small pike that these big fish has been chasing. It looks like it got him a, a, a chew there, but you know, it's a, probably a one and a half kilo fish and they were at him a couple of times. So it's just, uh, I mean, I need to put bigger flyer on. That's the biggest flyer I have in my box. It's um, probably close to 50 centimeter. It's supposed to look like a small baby pike. Uh, we're gonna give it a go and see. What do you think, Robert? It looks nice. Let's match the hatch, uh, <laughs> mountain style. So we've been fishing this grass bank here and uh, had a lot of smaller fish, but ah! <laughs> Don't give it any line. Oh yes. <laughs> We're fishing them with 10 weights. Ah! Just to be able to fight them hard. Well, I got it. It's hooked. <laughs> this is... Uh, the first little bit bigger fish we caught or we landed. We've seen some very nice fish following. Probably half a meter longer than this one. <laughs> but it's uh, 
It's just awesome. The water is crystal clear. Yeah, showed in the back and the, all the muscles they got. They are fighting so hard. We're fishing 10 weights and they're just, it's just awesome. We, we just seen a nice pike here. He's standing behind the weed bank where my fly is here. There's actually two big fish standing here now. Oh, look, there's one facing facing each other. Look, oh, this one is coming. Oh, look at this. They're both standing there. Oh, it's going for it. No, yeah, he is. Oh. Come on. He went for it. We had three fish the same size standing here. I have a huge fish here too. Oh, look at that one. That's even bigger. Yeah, that's even bigger. That's a problem. <laughs> that's a very big fish. This one's taking Pontus, 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 Pontus. Can I talk? Can I talk? Hi. Hi. As you can see, we have the biggest light in the world on here so they are and the water is completely flat so it's really hard to get them to take but we can get them to follow the fly and react a little bit but we've been putting big flies on small flies on tails whatever but they're not Ooh, really look here, look here to... two fish oh, yeah. look oh. the good one and the small one but the big one is more interested in the the three kilo fish that followed. I have a baby pike here. I'm gonna throw that at your fish soon. <laughs> He's more interested than he ever was at mine. Looks really focused. Yeah. With another one coming, look. Yeah, that's the three kilo one. And one more, I see three now. I would say that one fish is a very big three kilo fish, if that's the three yeah, kilo. Yeah, then oh, the other one is the three kilo. No, this is new fishes. I mean, Robert, this is crazy. We have like five or six really big pike here standing. Come on, have a little taste. You must be curious what it is. Oh, he's, oh, he's opening his mouth, look. Big fishes. I wonder if he was kind of uh, telling the small guy to go away. This is mine. I mean, I've never fished pike in an environment that is so awesome. Can't believe it, man. It's, it's the coolest place so far I've ever fished for pike, man. Well, I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad to be invited by you, man. We <laughs> talked about this for a long time. <laughs> On the mic, then I'm back to set my guns, dust my pops off. Probably thought I was a crook. Took your snuff, you super fly up. It's in the middle of the day and it's, the fishing has been really slow. So uh, we went down to the grayling streams and oops and uh, I just took it from there. Good. Show them, show them what you got. <laughs> I got a 10 weight, so I can probably. Here we Thank go. you, man. <laughs> <laughs> on the articulated pike. Yeah, great. The pike on the pike, <laughs> as White. Klaus would say. They're so strong. I mean, catching this 120 centimeter fish here must be crazy. Much respect to the all-around crew And any of my homies been influential You were flirting, you're about to get caught Twisting the hips, yeah, I like it a lot You were flirting, you're about to get caught Twisting the hips, yeah, I like it a lot Let's go Nice, 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 nice. It's a good fish, this. 
<laughs> Should we back off? Can you take it from that side? I can take it from this side. Oh no, not in there, not in there, not in there. No, 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 no. It's quite good fish, this. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, yeah, it is. Solid. You don't want to fight it anymore? No, this is not fucking pretty tired. Uh, I think we should. One more oh. run or? <laughs> good job, man. <laughs> awesome. Yes. <laughs> While the earth sits at bay, you continue to grow. And every single time you feel you fall behind, just take a deep breath, let it all Been fighting so hard it's getting thirsty here and this is the good part of being the north of Sweden. You can just have a sip wherever you are. The only thing you have to watch out is for hatching mayflies and caddies to be in the water. Cheers man. But it's nice that you're taking so good care of the fish here and, and really appreciating the pike. Yeah, of course a lot of places up where you have this really nice amount of uh, trout and, and grayling, they think just pike is a problem. But they live in excellent cooperation with each other. That's probably why the, the reason why the, the grayling is so big here too. Mm -hmm. yeah, I believe so. Ooh, fallere, fallere, fallere. I just... I'm fishing a... Oh, there it went. Wait, I think that was a heavy fish. Oof. Oof. Oh, kolla, har den där bakom in, kolla. Oh. Men den var inte så jävla liten den där. And the fish is falling. They're extremely nice fish. But they don't really want to take the flies. They're following the flies, they're making an awesome wake, but they're coming from like five meters behind the fly. I thought the evening would have been awesome, you know, really hammering them. We'll see. It's not the over yet. And then what's done? Oh.
four o'clock in the morning. And we've been uh, covering these spots with uh, lemmings here now, really early in the morning. Um, we've had a few fish coming up, some really awesome stuff when the fins are coming up like that. But we really get, we couldn't get them to take the, the lemming pull up. So now we're gonna go with them with uh, uh, slow-mo or intermediate lines and uh, big uh, brownish olive black flies and that we're fishing really fast, roly-poly style, over this grass. Ooh, ooh, no, I missed it. I'm not interested here, I'll try again. I can see which direction it went. I can tell you that my pike heart hasn't pounded this hard for a very long time. My uh, hair is standing on my arms. It's just, actually it is. I'm, I have the chills just because it's so damn cool. This is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wonder which fly oh, it's, oh, it's looking mine, at. It's mine. Oh, it's it's looking at yours? Yeah, it's been chewing on it twice. It was a great take, it was just boom, boom. Oh, it's still following. Oh, I see it behind it. See it. Oh, I stopped. That was a small Go fish. again. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, look, 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 look. Down my fly, look. it. Be very still now, very still. No arms in there. Oh, it's looking at my fly again. Ooh. It's coming back after it. Look, 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 look. Ooh. Look, see? Standing sideways here. Yeah. You know, some of That's some it. big fishes like this, I've been working on it for like 10 minutes and then all of a sudden they take. That was a nice fish, or that is a bit nice fish. Nice fish. Pretty decent. <laughs> you told me to not to give them any line. <laughs> I try not to. I think you're giving it a gut line, man. So. Nice. First fish since the, since the sun comes out. Very powerful fish this. Wow. I'm using a cone head in front of the fly. And uh, to make it click extra much, I, I attach a, a bead in front of it. Also, you can really hear it's a loud click there. And, um, also extends life of, of the fly because otherwise the cone will hit the, the epoxy and the ice. Uh, it's good in that way too. <laughs> I had some slack line there and uh, started stripping really quickly but I realized it's just to set a hook because it was a <laughs> fish. So just crazy. Wait. There. Nice. I put on a, a wide jumbo tail, really big one. And uh, it's a quick way to get a completely different appearance of the fly. A lot bigger fly now. Okay. Bigger fly, bigger fish. <laughs> nice. It looks old, this fish. Yeah. Look at the fins. Good job, man. Thanks. Let it swim down into this. This forest, a jungle, jungle up in the mountains. Good job, man. Thanks. <laughs> we have ourselves a nice uh, double hook up here. I'm fishing my uh, double wiggle tail here. <laughs> Our photographer told us, why don't you put two wiggle tails in the two different colors in the <laughs> on the fly? Well, why not? <laughs> Work as a charm. Go and swim to get even bigger. Bye-bye. Ah, now we're on. This is a um, tube fly here. 
Uh, it's a lot of copper black in it. We have a Bauer pike rig. And then with the connection for the wiggle tail here. And then actually I have two wiggle tails here. It's just pretty awesome in the water actually. I have a fish that's very decisive here when, when moving around. I saw it in the grass and placed it quite far away from it and it's very decisive when it came towards it, but you need a take. Come on, take the flight. It'd be nice to take, get it to take it. Ooh, so close to the surface now. Get it to rise a little bit more. Come on. Come on here. You know you want it. Come on. See how the tail is moving. I don't do anything. It's like a musky pipe. Let's see if I can get it to turn here. It does. Mm -hmm. You got a sight fishing pipe. I go for the big one again. <laughs> he gave the small one to me here. <laughs> <laughs> How cool was that? <laughs> that was so cool, man. Ah. Oh, hold it up. Hold it up. Oh, I think that was awesome. No, it's there. It's there. This lake, it's not easy to fight them. And it was fun because I thought that fish was much smaller. There it is. <laughs> I Vegetable that, pike. <laughs> I thought that fish was like two kilos or something when I saw it the first time. Look at that. Sight fished. <laughs> Mountain sight fishing for pike. I thought this fish was two kilos when I saw it in a pocket. Just imagine how big some of these fish we have yep. seen here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The gear we use up here is a little bit different compared to what I normally use. Um, where I fish normally in the archipelago, I use 90% uh, a nine weight. But up here we have basically uh, only fish 10 weight. And that's because the fish is so strong and uh, there's a lot of grass that we need to, to really get them not to go into. Uh, we lost some big fish in that grass and we don't want to do that. So we're fishing 10 weights. Um, and there's basically three lines we've been using up here. It's the intermediate line that's uh, working really well when you're fishing a little bit deeper water. And uh, we fish it with um, tube or articulated flies. And then we have a big cone head here and even two cone heads sometimes just to be able to drop the fly just in front of the, fly, the fish when we, when, we, when we see them in the grass and we can jig it. Um, and then uh, what we've been fishing mostly over this grass is the slow-mo line. Uh, here with the big tube fly. Uh, we have a lot of rattles, so they really find it in the grass. We're trying to fish them as fast as possible. So the, the rattle and the big tail is really moving a lot of water. That's working awesome. And then uh, for the really shallow water, we've been fishing a floating line. That's a line I fish very seldom, uh, where I normally fish. But it's also good to have in your um, in your gear range. This is a Big Daddy 10 weight. Uh, when you're fishing these uh, divers or, or topwater gear, uh, I prefer not to have a lock here. I just heat the, um, the wire up so you have a nice welding here and some shrink tube. And this makes it very nice and no tangles. And also you don't put any extra weight here. That makes the, the fly uh, stay on the surface and really have a natural um, uh, move to it. And beside that, I've been using these stripper guards a lot because you're really fishing a lot of water. You're casting and casting and just stripping. And also when you're, when you're trying to break the fish, you know, really get it not to go into the grass. You really want to just hold that line as po hard as possible. So as you can see, the line has burned through them actually when I had a big fish on here. So that's a really good thing to use here. And otherwise, just a simple boat. These are, not, these are awesome river boats. And just a good friend in the in the stern. That's all you need. <laughs> what do you say?
Yeah, it's pretty simple this fishing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it's awesome. You don't actually you don't need too much. I'm shifting rod here to um, floating line, and uh, we're trying to to get it on another imitation, uh, and uh, that's going to be a lemming this time. We have had them a lot this season, and uh, when they grow out of food, and sometimes they get desperate and, and uh, swim out to the, to the water to search for islands or another side of the river to, uh, to find new areas. And uh, yeah, let's see if they show some interest to, to eating some, some uh, lemming. Lemming pike, man! It just crashed it! So these are uh, <clears throat> a good friend of mine, Andreas Anderson. He's an awesome deer hair tire. So um, I called him before this trip and asked me if he, if he could tie some lemming for me. And some big ones. But when you had a few fish on these and they become really wet, I like to spray them with some dry fly spray. but it makes them um, float really, really well again. Good to go again. Goody, goody. It was a perch, man. It's a nice one, too. My first perch on Lemming. Nice fish. Well, really? you never fished lemming, lemming patterns for perch before? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> They're not so common where, I, where I'm from, you know. <laughs> that was fun. That was my first. Well, it's not every day. <laughs> Look, there's a reindeer standing watching me. Well, it's actually not watching me, it's showing me his ass, but it's not every day you see a reindeer with pike fishing. <laughs> Maybe that's pretty common for you, Robert, but <laughs> in Stockholm, they're not really a common species. Okay, just for educational purpose, uh, <laughs> we're, gonna <laughs> we're gonna show you how to remove a hook when you got it. Uh, in your thumb. <clears throat> well, we had two fishes. One was hooked uh, by me, and you were fishing for the other one. Yeah. We're quite in a rush there to to get start fishing for the bigger one. But yeah, uh, um, yeah. you got yourself. <laughs> I caught myself on the stinger, which was hanging out outside of the fish. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So this is but why you should always have a really good power cutter. Yeah. Should yeah. we take away the the no, tail? Leave, leave no, leave the tail. We're just gonna. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. There we go. We just push it through like that. A little bit more. Are you okay? Okay. Somebody has to, has to drive us home, you know. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> How's it going fishing again? <laughs> but you, you got the tail back. Yeah, that's Like good. you wanted. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Well, I better change <laughs> change my rig here because this <laughs> this rig won't catch any pike. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Here's a new one. Thank there you. Go. You're welcome. There's one here. It's right, right here. Standing right down here. Yeah. Cast a little bit further away. Try to get it down. Far down now. Ah. 
This is mountain style. Pop it up to the surface. Come on. <laughs> I got him there. There. Nope, didn't get him there. <laughs> They're so strong, man. Stinger, huh? Yeah, it's on the stinger. I mean, you like the stinger, don't you? No. Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a fat one. <laughs> That's a fat <laughs> one. Look at the power. Look at the back on this guy. It's just so fat. Nice girl. Awesome light. Okay, fish. Oh, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Niklas Bauer and I'm Robert Hansson. You're watching Fly TV and today we're doing this. Hi, I'm Nikos Bauer and welcome back to Fly TV. Today we are doing some pike fishing up in Chonayok. It's a fishing camp that is located very far up in the Swedish mountains. Together here we have my good friend Robert. He works here as a full-time guide, as a fishing guide. Uh, we met each other for a long time ago and we have always been talking about the big pike they have up here. And he said you have to come up and fish them. And he's telling me bring 10 weights because nine weights it's not enough, you know, you have to pull them straight out of the grass and stuff like that. So <laughs> we have a bunch of 10 weights and see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a few goals for this trip here, but it's uh, one is going to be to try to catch on pike on lemming. Mm -hmm. But as you can see today, we have beautiful weather. It's almost dead calm and uh, there's just a few, few clouds here coming and going. And I don't think these are the best pike conditions. Well, at least we're going to see the fish today. The tricky part is going to be to catch them. Yeah. I mean, half the thing is just to see them. <laughs> We're walking around in this um, uh, shallow cove here, fishing a lemming, and uh, Robert is still going for the lemming. So I put a... Uh, they're following it, but I don't really want... I caught this uh, small pike here. After that fish, two 
probably 10 kilo fish came after and trying to get it. And now they're standing on the bottom here. This guy, he doesn't even want to go down because he knows that's not Ooh, he's going up. He's oh, going he's going up. up, he's going up, he's going up. Oh, Jesus, man. That's a very big fish. See? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That fish was... Oh, he's going for it again. He is? Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's going for it, Pontus. Oh, he's just passing through. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He wants it to be moved, you know. That fish is really big. <laughs> it's straight down there. It's right under under the small pike and under your fly, man. Now he's more interested in mind fly. Oh, that's Ooh. good. So this is the small pike that these big fish has been chasing. It looks like it got him a, a, a chew there, but you know, it's a, probably a one and a half kilo fish. And they were at him a couple of times. So it's just, uh, I mean, I need to put bigger flyer on. That's the biggest fly I have in my boxes. It swam away and then it came back. Oh yeah? Yeah. That was just an awesome take, man. <laughs> it's so funny when you put some speed on the fly, it just instantly they go for it. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting me all wet, this guy. Bye bye. <laughs> that was just awesome. <laughs> Jesus. It's nice to have a shower. Yeah. So let's go uh, a little bit further out and catch up on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there is a pike. Where? Right. There. That's a big one. Yeah. We're fishing a little bit deeper area here. Uh, and uh, to fish this fly really deep, I uh, with my intermediate line, I just, to get it down to like two, three meters quite easily, I put the rod tip down, straight down from me. And uh, I'm using a burbot imitation here, which has been working really good here before. That new one, yep. <laughs> Come on now, not a single foot, man. <laughs> Wasn't that what you told me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it's so hard in this grass. You gave him line, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll clean this, they don't like the vegetables. Oh, but... up, up, up. Oh, fish on. Oh, look at it. Oh, oh, that's a big one coming there. Ah. I might crash it. We don't know if it's the, really the sunlight or what's, the, what's happening. But uh, we've had a lot of pike following it, but not really taking it. So I put a diver on. Uh, this Chateau's diver that I tied in one of the Thai TV episodes. not really a big fish, but it's still, see it's just on the side of the mouth there, easy to remove. Bye-bye. A diver is working that way that it, just, it floats up to the surface really slow, and when you make a good pull like that, it dives down and it floats back up again. This is sometimes a very, very effective way to fish pike. You can have kind of the, oh, there's one falling there, see it, oop. It's actually swimming towards you, slowly, slowly. It's two or three meters from this grass here, the flower here. Yeah? In Which this side? angle, go to the right, go to the right of it. Here? Drop it, yeah, it's perfect. It's, it's right behind the flower. Okay. I feed it with some lemming here. Yeah. 
Feel it good, man. Oh, I see it. Look, it's following. It's right here. Even if it's like four meters away from me, if I would move anyhow in this crystal clear water, I would scare it. But it's a nice fish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's still too close to. It's done completely still, but if I make a cast now, it's gone. <laughs> so, how are you going to solve that problem? I don't know. <laughs> Can you catch it? Aim, Where is it? Aim. Just aim for the lemming. That's perfect. Was it close enough? Yeah, it's right in front of it. Oh, it's turning. Distracting so I can make a new cast. <laughs> <laughs> I want him. <laughs> That's perfect. Distract him. <laughs> it's coming here. It's going for it. Hop. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How nice was that, man? <laughs> um, probably close to 50 centimeters. Supposed to look like a small baby pike. Uh, we're gonna give it a go and see. What do you think, Robert? It looks nice. Match the hatch, uh, <laughs> mountain style. So we've been fishing this grass bank here and uh, had a lot of smaller fish, but... Ah! <laughs> Don't give it any line. Oh yes. <laughs> We're fishing them with 10 weights. Just to be able to fight them hard. Well, I got it. it so. <laughs> this is uh, the first little bit bigger fish we caught or we landed. We've seen some very nice fish following. Probably half a meter longer than this one. <laughs> But it's uh, it's just awesome. The water is crystal clear. Yeah, show them the back and the, all the muscles they got. They are fighting so hard. We're fishing ten weights, and they're just it's just awesome. We we just seen a nice pike here. He's standing behind the weed bank where my fly is here. There's actually two big fish standing here now. Oh, look, there's one facing facing each other. Look. Oh, this one is coming. Oh, look at it. The boat standing there. Oh, it's going for it. No. Yeah, it is. Oh. Come on. He went for it. We had three fish the same size standing here. I have a huge fish here too. Oh, look at that one. That's even bigger. Yeah, that's even bigger. That's a problem. <laughs> that's a very big fish. This one's taking Pontus, 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 Pontus,